Welcome Channel 17 to Very Merry Theater's home space here at 20 Allen Street, now known as the Old North End Community Center. Uh, Very Merry Theater is uh, an organization that serves teenagers and children from ages 5 to 19. Our primary purpose is to be of service to our community, um, to provide opportunities for um, children and teens to express themselves through storytelling. Primarily we do shows that are a narrative with a beginning, middle, and end. Uh, and we primarily do musicals. We uh, partner with many, many schools in the area, some of them for over 20 years. We have uh, summer camps at two locations, uh, one uh, here at 20 Allen, and you'll see a little bit more of our space here in a second. We also have a beautiful barn that we rent in the summer down in Charlotte, Vermont, and we have a traveling wagon, and our children rehearse for a week or so at the barn and then hit the road with the wagon and put on free shows at um, local parks and, and libraries in the area. The um, primary uh, purpose, as I said, is to be a service for, for children and of, of all situations and backgrounds. We try to make ourselves accessible to everybody. And so whatever obstacles might be in the way of a child being able to participate in one of our productions, we work with the family to help them overcome those obstacles so that they can be involved. We do 40 productions a year. We work with over a thousand children and teens each year. We do licensed shows and many Broadway shows, particularly with our, with our teenagers. And we're very proud of our teens. Many of them have stayed with us from the early years on. Some jump on board during their teen years and they have really come to put on some outstanding productions for us. Speaking of our teens, we are uh, preparing this weekend for King Lear the Western, and it's a musical that I adapted from William Shakespeare's King Lear uh, with our music director, Ashley O'Brien, who composed music to lyrics that um, in some cases I created, but in others were actually more sort of um, adapted or reworking Shakespeare's original iambic pentameter into um, you know, the melody for a song. You can't do a Western without a steam train. We have a couple of exciting scenes that happen up there. Um, if you don't know the story of King Lear, um, I can tell you that there's a subplot of a friend of Lear's named Gloucester, and Gloucester has um, been duped by one son into making an enemy of the other, and they end up finally meeting and recognizing each other in a very dramatic scene on top of this train. I'm gonna bring you into our green room. And our green room, if uh, Micah could pan to the, uh, the left over there, you will see is our costume racks. There's actually a couple shows. We have King Lear and Hairspray costumes over here. And hard at work, going over their lines and songs and dances are <laughs> And having a, a meal prior to five hours of hard work are Hallie Newman, who is playing Edgar, who I mentioned a moment ago is reunited with her um, father, uh, his father, but Hallie's a, a girl playing a boy, which happens a lot in the world of theater. Um, on top of that train is where that dramatic scene happens. And um, Gabby is playing one of Lear's, what in the original is called a fool. In our case, it's more sort of a sidekick jester. And uh, Gabby loves comedy. And Zenavia Wilcox is um, playing a couple roles. One is the engineer of that train, and, but primarily she is a troubadour, and with three of her fellow cast members, they come on in this really cool wagon and uh, sing four different narration songs to help the audience follow the story. Um, Zenavia, how many years do you think you've been involved with Very Merry Theater? Oh, wow. Well, I started in fifth grade. But, and I kind of continued it since then, and I, start, I picked it up sophomore year, actually, not freshman year, but sophomore year, I picked it up again. So I don't know exactly. This is like a math question right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know exactly. But I've been here a long time. Um, it's pretty cool to see where, where it's been since. And where are you headed next year? Next year I'm going to Southern Connecticut State University. So I'm really excited. It's in New Haven, so yeah. it's going to be fun. That is so awesome. Uh, we love Zenavia at Very Merry Theater. And this is Gabby Boera. Hi. Gabby, uh, tell us your favorite story connected to Very Merry. So we are doing Hair, the musical. And we had one rehearsal. It was dark out. All the shades were drawn. <laughs> the entire room was like pitch black. And we were spread out actually in this room like throughout the 
um, our little pods is what we called. We had like little groups, um, and Don like <laughs> walked us through like one of the songs. Which one was it? Um, oh my God! It was walking the space. walking. Yeah, it was. It was really. It was incredible. Um, and I can never forget, you know, the Monopoly Man. Um, the what is it? The oil. <laughs> it was incredible. I can't. I can't go into depth, or else I would be here all day. But it was. It was a great time. And this is Hallie Newman. Um, Hallie has been with us since second grade. And Hallie, you were telling me the other day that your favorite original Very Merry Theater adaptation is, and then tell me why. My favorite Very Merry Theater adaptation of a show is Peter Pan. Mm -hmm. And that is my favorite because I, I did Peter Pan in second grade and it was like, I'd been on stage before, actually, but I'd only been in like little, little plays, so I was like up with the big kids as a second grader and I was dressed as a star and like nothing has ever felt more magical in my entire life than like running across the stage pretending to be flying and like watching all the older kids sing and I was just like, this is like the place that I want to grow up, so I'm really glad that I got to. And I'm going to finish with Zenavia because I didn't think my questions were as interesting for her. <laughs> so, Zenavia, you, you get to share a moment or a memory from your years of being with us. A moment or a memory? I think, like, I want to go back to hair because, like I said, like, out of all of the, like, very, very productions, I just loved hair so much specifically. Also because I was just starting to like get back into like the teen very merry world and like start to know everyone. And it was just one of those shows that was just so free and like directly portrayed like the view or like the vision of what very merry is supposed to be. So yeah, just like all of it as a whole. Because very merry is always doing multiple productions, we are also preparing for hairspray with 30 younger teens next weekend. So um, at any given point in the day, our stage may represent three or four different shows. Um, right now, it's mostly King Lear, but um, beyond the, the focus of the camera, we have people working on our Hairspray production right now. Our art director at Very Mary uh, is Becca McHale, and she is with us now. And uh, she's going to tell us a little bit about um, some of the choices that she's making and projects she's working on for Hairspray. Uh, well, a Hairspray takes place in, in Baltimore, and so um, we're starting off with a, a set um, that is representative of Baltimore. It has, um, it's a series of brick row homes, and um, they're going to be up on stage the whole time, and they'll have cut out windows that can be illuminated from behind, and then um, it'll, it'll really transform from being uh, row homes to being part of uh, a, a TV show dance set. How do you keep up this ridiculous pace of working on multiple productions at once and keep your sanity? <laughs> well, luckily there's a, a leader at the helm who knows how to calm nerves and say everything's going to be okay and it's all going to get done. So um, I definitely lean on Don if I'm starting to get a little concerned about things. It's like, it's going to get done. And it does. It always does with the help of, of other people if needed. And um, somehow, yeah, it all comes together every time. We have an enormous amount of support in the community and goodwill. Um, and much of it of the uh, volunteer variety, where people will come and play in a pit orchestra, paint a set, help with costuming, hair, makeup, playbill, intermission, house and green room support, uh, you name it. And we have just an enormous amount of wonderful community members who help our children put on their, their shows. Micah is a, um, a, ma a cinema major, is that right? That's correct. And also minoring in theater, which excites me very much because Micah's always been an amazing storyteller. And Micah, you, uh, one of the things I thought maybe you could share with people is um, during your years here, and we're continuing to do this, um, to, to talk about how we use committees to help collaborate with sets and costumes and PR and hair and makeup and, and how that, um, you know, um, informed your experience as an actor. Well, just to, to know that all these little things are going on in a production, I, I had never thought of that when I was in fourth grade, but as I've been in more shows, it's been it's been really cool to watch all these get together just to put together this one production that people come to see over a weekend. But I think it's helped me 
become more involved with theater, not just as an actor, but just as a volunteer helping out with making all these productions realities. But I've just enjoyed the whole process. I, I've never wanted to leave theater, so I made it my minor in college because I never not want to do theater. Which is great for his old director to hear. Our goal is to not necessarily to provide a star vehicle for the children, meaning that we try to adapt shows ourselves, or we do, and write our own musicals so that we can take on as many kids as want to participate in a given production. And this allows us to really spread the wealth so that everybody gets a chance to shine. All right, thank you. That's your tour. We have one more space, as I mentioned, next door, our black box, but it has new windows being put in it right now, so we can't take you there. But um, it's been a pleasure to share this time with you on Channel 17.